So then, the Spa 24 hour on iRacing. It's not gone well, has it? It's not gone well at all. It's been controversial, to say the least. Many, many teams have been taking advantage of an exploit that has been found on this game, and it's been known for years. I personally did not know this thing existed until I actually started this race and saw it firsthand exactly what people were doing. Now, if you don't know exactly what it is, what it is, I will try to explain it to you because it gives you such an advantage. It's just crazy that's even in the game. That's even a thing. The thing that the fact that this has been around for years, I've not known about it. I I, I can't believe I haven't seen it before. Um, but the whole weekend, the whole Spa 24-hour event was completely tainted and ruined by what people were doing. Now, I'm not saying this was everyone, but there was. Quite a few teams that were doing it. And that if you watch Top Split, and I'll show you some clips of Top Split, it was shameful. But I'm going to explain to you exactly what they were doing. I'm going to give you a prime example of what happened right now. So here we are then at Spa, going through Eau Rouge, and then through Radion. And you're going to see exactly what people were doing. So what they do on the Kemmel Straight, they just stick their car to the left-hand side, two wheels on the grass like this. And that is essentially all that it was. Now that doesn't seem like a massive thing, but essentially what it does is it keeps your tyre pressures low and your tyre uh, temperatures low as well on the left hand side. And as you know on at Spa essentially that your left hand side tyres are quite crucial to a good lap time. So by doing this throughout the race you essentially save a huge amount of tyre wear and you're essentially, some teams will go in half a second a lap quicker per lap just by doing this exploit, which is absolutely crazy. And it would never work in real life. So I don't even know why it's a thing on this simulator, but yeah. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you some examples of Top Split right now. Firstly, I'll show you the qualifying time of Top Split, which is just absolutely hilarious. Uh, and then I'll show you exactly what Top Split were doing. Um, but I'm, re I'm really interested to hear what your opinions on this is, boys and girls. What do you really think should happen? Because it is against the sporting code. We'll talk a little bit more about that after you watch these examples. Pretty shocking, right? So, what should be done about it? And was it morally right in the first place? Well, I'm gonna look at both sides of the argument here. Right, so for example, say you are in top split. You haven't used this exploit and you've qualified, let's say, 30th, and you're scratching your head and you're thinking to yourself, how are we a second, half a second off the pace in top split? That should not be a thing, okay? And then, the opening lap, you see all those cars on the Kemmel straight on the left-hand side using this exploit. What do you do as that eSports team? Do you just ignore it, continue the race, knowing that you can't get a good result? Imagine having to go through 24 hours of a race knowing that you cannot get a good result because you are not exploiting it and you're not bending the rules that iRacing have set. Imagine being that person. I can completely understand how difficult that could be. I can also understand if you're one of the top teams in top split, like Redline, and you want to win this event, and the only way you know you can do it is by using this exploit on the screen. What do you do? Is it morally right for you to do it? Do you back out? I know there is an esports team that did back out and say we're not doing it, but what do you do in that position if you're an esports team? It's, it's very, very difficult. You know, what should happen to these guys that have done it? They've known it was going to happen, some of these esports team, they know it was going to happen, they know that we were going to do it, they've been planning it for weeks. 
what should happen, because it's a clear breaking of the rules. But I think they just did it because they knew they'd only get a weak ban, so they don't really care. So what do you think, boys and girls, should happen? Who's at fault here? You know, is it is it iRacing for knowing the exploit but doing nothing about it? Is it the sim racing esports drivers or anyone who did it, really, in fact? Anyone who did it at all. But n but they just knew a weak ban would be fine because it's, an, it's a special event. They can take a weak ban. They'd rather just take the win or use the exploit, get a good result, and they just crack on, just have a week off, and then come back. You know, what should happen? I've been scaling the forums, and I've seen a few good comments. Some were saying they should get banned during the event, which I don't think happened. I don't think anyone got banned uh, during it. Uh, and I don't know of any team that has actually been banned for a week as of yet. I'm sure we'll hear some news uh, shortly from iRacing. But the whole weekend, I think, was completely tainted and completely ruined. And it was a real shame. I don't know what iRacing are going to do about this. I really hope they just they just fix the issue because at the end of the day, it's their, it's their simulator. They're the ones who make, you know, well, they're the ones who make it. So <laughs> to have a simulator that, you know, makes the tyre temperatures and uh, pressures drop so dramatically from going on the grass... I don't know. I don't know how realistic that is. It can't be very realistic, can it, if people aren't doing it in real life. So, yeah. Really interesting to hear your uh, thoughts and opinions on this. Um, my opinions on this is... Well, it's tough. I, I really don't know. I really, I really, really don't know how to... Like, it, I think they're like, there's got to be some sort of punishment, but our racing have just got to admit that they've, they've messed up. They've messed up on this one, and uh, yeah, it's a real shame. It's a real shame. It's such a bad look on this sim, and I absolutely love playing this sim, so it's a real bad look. But let me know in the comments what you would do. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Um, I think the blame ultimately lies on iRacing for doing this. I can't, like, I can see why the top esports teams were doing it. Is it against racing etiquette? Probably. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Have a, have a lovely rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.